What do you get when you mix Plato, Aristotle, Stoicism, and Christianity? Neoplatonism is a modern term for the school of thought derived from Plotinus, a student of Plato nearly 600 years after Plato's death. Neoplatonists start with the One, which is similar to Plato's form of the Good, a single, simple unity from which all things are derived. But the One is not like God. It has no consciousness and is so far beyond matter that it couldn't possibly create. The One has a helpful side effect, though. It brings about the noos, commonly translated as intellect. What does this intellect think about? Well, none other than the one itself. This active thinking has its own side effect, the emergence of soul, which acts as sort of platonic forms, giving the immaterial foundation for physical existence. From the soul finally comes matter, and the chain is complete. So to recap, we have the one, perfect unity, beginning and end of all things. Then comes noos, the byproduct of the one thinks about the one. Then soul, the byproduct of nous, akin to platonic forms, and then finally matter. And that's just Neoplatonic metaphysics. Their ethics are a bit simpler, thankfully. Since man is both material and immaterial, he has the unique privilege of climbing back up that chain and getting closer to the one. This is often accomplished through philosophy, practicing virtue, and doing away with the concerns of the body. Neoplatonism was immensely popular, finding its way into almost all philosophy and theology for nearly 1,500 years. Some say for the better, others say for the worse. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below.